It's easy to become overwhelmed on this place we call Earth. This pulls us away from what matters most. There's many ways to cope with that level of stress, but we have a way that works for us. It all comes down to the focus. Job store, penny short, waiting for so much more. Crying out, calling cold, apologies, a boring soul. She turned to me. Blind in the frame. Weight of this world. She will not be changed. What we focus on from day to day is what defines us. It navigates our interests, where we spend our time, how we handle our health and well-being, and ultimately, who we become. We think part of the solution is letting our day-to-day -day focus be on passions that take us outdoors with those that matter the most. Let us send nothing yet, a hospital, an empty bed. The reason I like fishing with these guys is because like we share the same passions for the river, we share the same passions for chasing fish, and it's even if there is some friendly competition, it's more like stoked for each other, like stoked that we're catching fish, that this is working right, and they're always down to go on crazy trips and explore new waters. Fly fishing with this group of guys on this river is just is super fun because we just get out and we have a good time. Every time somebody catches a fish, it's just awesome. It's just so fun to watch one of our buddies catch a fish. I'm actually pretty new to fly fishing, and I think that one reason that I really enjoy it so much is because it reminds me of other hobbies that I have. Like, I like to do wood burnings and I like to do skateboarding, and fly fishing reminds me of these hobbies that I've invested all of my time into because it's really hard and it takes a lot of practice to progress and to learn how to do it. And I like things like that. I like things that are hard, and I really have to apply myself to progress in them. these fishing trips it gives me something to look forward to being around this group of friends and how everything else kind of just disappears and we're just three friends on the river having a good time we all mess with each other it's not all about catching fish like I just like to hang out take a dip in the water we'll have a beer just kind of chill and just enjoy being out for the day so what gets me excited to fish and keeps me coming back is just the thrill of designing my own fly and tricking a fish into eating it or the fact that there might be a bigger fish out there. It's like fish candy. It's really nice to have the cabin. It gives us kind of a home base. To have my friends there, and to go fish the river every day, but then to have this place to just come back and relax, but be in the mountains, that was a blast. We had some pretty awesome fires and we cooked some really good food, played in the river, played some cornhole. It's just a good time. There's this quote by John Lennon where teachers asking him like, what he wants to be when he grows up and he says happy. And she says, oh, you didn't understand the assignment. And John Lennon says, like, but you don't understand life. And that's what I think about, like, these passions, right? Like, whether it's fishing, skating, being with family, whatever it is, right? Those passions, that's what makes you happy. That's what helps you keep going day to day, right? And I think that's the key to life. I think we had a pretty good flow today. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody fell in the river. Oh, I actually, Cameron almost actually did. Yeah, oh, Cam <laughs> he almost spilled his waiter. I yeah. almost spilled oh, my waiter. He got close. He was awesome. I caught myself. Oh. 
I always tell my kids, I'm like, it's good to be, like, passionate about something that you're willing to, like, you know, sacrifice time and, and energy and put into to, to make it successful or to work for. And Because um, it's like, you know, you get that small doses of, like, oh, I worked hard at this, now I got the reward, you know. It's like life lessons, I think. It's like those things, those little wins, they, they build you up and they, they prepare you to take on problems in your life even better. Because um, it's hard to, to deal with problems when you're feeling depressed or sad because things aren't going right. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to get a little break and escape and to go have a good time and, and relax and just let go. And then you get these wins and they make you feel better and then you face your problems with your problems. It's really important to find what keeps you going and keeps you interested in something that matters, you know, something that motivates you to go out and have a, have a good time and kind of just kind of forget about everything else that's happening. And fly fishing definitely provides that escape for me while being around all of my favorite people, all the people that I like to be around. I think I'm kind of drawn to the outdoors because it's a comfort zone for me. I mean, it's peaceful for anybody to be outside and in nature, but um, I'm especially drawn there because I have a lot of beautiful memories with people that I care about in places like that. So it makes me feel even more comfortable when I'm out there because I'm reminded about the people who care about me and the people who um, are there for me when I need them to be. It makes it even more special to be in the outdoors. Dumb store, penny short, waiting for so much more, crying out. We don't need to spend every day on the river to change our focus. We can focus on nature without leaving the house. We can focus on passions without picking up a fly rod. We can focus on relationships without turning on a phone. Wherever you are and whatever you are doing, be present, be engaged, be a friend, be an outdoorsman. This lifestyle allows us to do more than simply exist in this world's chaos. It all comes down to what we do day to day. It's all about the focus.